Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Down to Earth episode 181 to 182. And of course you guys, I just want to let you guys know it would be so awesome if you guys could subscribe, share, like, and comment this video. I am on the path of 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. So hopefully I can get somewhere close to that. But um, all the support and love you guys have been showing me has been awesome. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm out of breath. Oh my goodness. Whew. Uh. They are both beautiful. I wonder if the one with horns feels different or lonely. Maybe I can read his thoughts. Huh? I was almost com comforted, but those are deer, if I remember correctly. And earthlings hunt them because of their horns, even though they are beautiful creatures. Kate is home. I turned my phone off last night. I am sure Kate is worried for me and everyone else. I will explain my situation once I've figured out where I wish to go. If they still care after they see me like this, that is. Huh? Hmm? Kate waited here for me? Uh, they? Oh, thank God, you're, you're safe. They, wait. They. Oh my gosh. I'm guessing you locked the door. I, I don't know what's going on, but it seems like something is bothering you. Maybe you're scared to tell me for some reason. We don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Can we at least be in the same room together? That's okay. You don't have to talk. I'm just glad you're okay. Was she trying to get her ship just now? I'll make us some breakfast. I've never seen Zay like this before. What happened? I wish you'd talk to me. I just want to be there for her. I feel so useless right now. Kate's been nothing but helpful to me. Yet, I remain a burden to him. And will continue to be a burden. Hey guys, Zeta's with me and she's okay. Susie. Oh my god, glad she's okay. I have so many questions. Ethan, I'm relieved. Did she say why she flew off like that? No, she seems down. I... <laughs> Zay? <laughs> Where is she going? <gasps> so what, you're leaving? Not even a goodbye? No explanation? What happened with Stace? Or more importantly, what are you hiding from me? The sadness in his eyes, like, it feels so bad. So what, you're leaving? Not even a goodbye? No explanations? What happened with Stace? Or more importantly, what are you hiding from me? Why are you not talking? We always talk things out. Please, talk to me. Please? If I were a monster in your eyes, what would you do? Monster? You've brought this up before, remember? Do you remember what I said? 
You... You said... If you are Zay, then you are my Zay. And I promise, nothing will change that. I'm guessing you're hiding something on your head. <laughs> I won't lie, I've known something was up. You avoid having your head touched. You've been wearing hats more and you quit modeling out of nowhere. The time we had a fever scare, and that night you were glowing. It's been very obvious. But the fact you're not talking to me, that's been bothering me the most. <laughs> I've been so worried about you and you're not, you're not given, even giving me a chance to help you. Or even at least letting me be there for you. Maybe it's because I can't help you. I get that, but I can at least listen to you. I, I don't know. I could comfort you. I see. That all makes sense now. Y yes It is very strange. I know. My appearance keeps changing and I cannot stop it. With each day I'm turning more into a monster. I am becoming something people would fear. How? How would I ever fit in with everyone else like this? You don't have to be self-conscious. You're with, you're with me right now. It is not about being self-conscious. If I cannot fit in on Earth, then I, I will have to find a different planet. I cannot be with my friends anymore. I cannot be with you. I am not an Earthling, no matter how bad I wish to be. Zay. You, you should be with another Earthling. Zay. I, I, I just make things complicated for you. I am nothing but a hideous burden. Zay, stop. Don't think that way of yourself. You're not a burden. You mean so much to me. Your problems are as important to me as my own. And you're definitely not hideous. An earthling, a zodian, I don't care which one you define as. You're still my Zay. Nothing's changed. You're home and you're safe. That's all that matters to me. It grew once they kiss. This, these two episodes, it definitely tug on our heartstrings, for sure. My heartstrings is definitely tugged. That was really sad. But finally, we get to see them be extremely vulnerable with each other and honest. And finally, she's like telling him the truth and showing him the truth. You know, like, I'm very glad that Zay, like, Cade was very observant of her. He was like, hey, look, I knew something was going on. I didn't probe. I didn't bother you until you were ready to tell me. But, yeah, like, he's shocked to see what's happening to her. But he gave her so much reassurance that he will always accept her, no matter what she defines as. And that's a huge deal you know and it goes for us as humans you know for us having kid children or family members like siblings who defines as you know um lesbian gays like that's a huge deal that's going on right now well yeah 
where kids are so afraid to come out or like family members are afraid to come out to their siblings and stuff and their parents and cousins that, hey, I am this way and I'm into other genders or like same genders. And it's just, wow. It is, but this is like an alien, a Zodian, and she just wants to feel like she belongs somewhere. Like she doesn't even feel like she belongs on her planet. Like other Zodians find her weird and, you know, odd. So imagine her being on a different planet. Like each time she runs into this issue, is she going to keep on running away from it? I'm glad that she found someone who makes her feel like she belongs. All right, guys. I'm out of breath. I, I read so much today. But if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, share, and comment. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!